This is a comprehensive continuum of services for people that struggle with behavioral health issues, developmental disabilities, and then addictive diseases. Our services range from evaluation to individual and group counseling, crisis services. We have some residential services, supportive housing, supportive employment. We have a residential substance abuse program. It's comprehensive. Our mission is to provide the right service to the right person at the right time, and the vision of the DeKalb Community Service Board is a community where disabilities no longer limit potential. We provide crisis stabilization services. So while you're in crisis and you're recovering, they also have classes in there. They have meetings for people inside and those that are coming from the outside. What I like about crisis is they help me stabilize my medication and they help me to find somewhere to live because they wouldn't release me until I had somewhere to go, which was good because usually they're trying to scoot you out the door in other places. You might stay there for about a week generally while we try to help you get a little more stable and then find some resources to continue to support you in the community. A number of our folks who come through here who have been struggling with the addiction problems do find good service for themselves at the DeKalb Addiction Center. So what we do here is we provide outpatient substance use treatment for adult men and women. Everything that I've received was valuable information, information that I didn't have prior, information that I would have been lost or continue to be lost had I not had it. We have gender-specific groups. Research shows that gender-specific groups work better, particularly for women. It's easier for us, because there's some things men can't relate to. The group settings become family. It's a small, concentrated group, so everybody has the opportunity to, to express themselves. 80 to 90 percent of the people that come here not only have a substance use disorder, but they also have what we call a co-occurring disorder. I'm dealing with bipolar disorder. Coming off of the addiction, you have the psychiatrist you're working with, your counselor that checks in with you emotionally. They also have goal planning here, so it's not only, okay, let's help you not be an addict. It's let's help you function outside when you get your apartment. We have budgeting in our classes. With me, I saw results as I started to open up. I'm not suicidal anymore, because it's like, you try to live with addiction, and no one helps you, they just look down on you, and they don't do that here at all. Being in the court system, there are a lot of people that come here that don't necessarily need to be here. They need mental health treatment. And so services that CSB provides, those are the kinds of things that folks are in need of. So we have a facility called the DeKalb Services Center, and it's a facility that treats very impaired, fragile, developmentally disabled individuals. We do have a physical therapist, a lot of them because of their age, just to keep them healthy and you know, maintain the skill level that they have. We have two sons here, and they both are orthopedically impaired. And Jeffrey, in particular, gets physical therapy, which we need the physical therapist. Jeffrey's been in the program since he's been 22 years old, and he's 45. And we have another son, Christopher, that's in the program. He's 54, and he's been here since he was 22 also. You like coming here, don't you? Yeah. Yes. What do you like about coming here? The people? Yeah. Uh -oh. And your friends? Well, yes. Friends. Friends. It's been a godsend for us. We have a wonderful staff of a really caring people that gives them something to do during the day to be active with their peers. It's very difficult to find jobs for our population. So the East DeKalb Center provides our Choice Program and our Enterprises Program. DeKalb Enterprises is a facility-based program that offers pre-vocational services, contract work. We also have the Choice Program, which is an acronym for Choosing Habilitation Options in Community Environments, which means that they are out in the community. We produce athletic work shoe orders, and the Federal Reserve of Atlanta has us do gift bags. They'll send us the shredded money and the bags and the labels. They get paid based upon the amount of work that they do and the individuals love the work. I'm working on shredded money and they pay me good money. It's really nice because I have some peers that I like to talk to. The majority of them have been here at least 10 years. Quite a handful who have been here over 40 years. It's a pleasure coming every day. We offer something that just does not exist outside of this. And we have had people who've graduated from our program who are able to manage on their own. And that is the ultimate goal. 
Mental health really touches everyone's life. The safety of our community, the growth of our children, there's so much tied to having good mental health. We save this county a tremendous amount of money with regard to incarceration, police services, homelessness, and just a wide variety of other demands that our clients, if they weren't treated, would be placing on the county. If they receive treatment and recovery services, they can be and are daily being restored to productive, tax-paying, intact family members that become an asset to the community. I know so much more about myself now. Cognitive behavior therapies, anger management, everything has assisted me so much in my life that I can actually see a light at the end of the tunnel.